All right, let's go ahead and start standing. We're gonna have our feet hip width apart, all 10 toes pointing forward. Roll your shoulders back and down. We're gonna go into our, our Pilates breath, taking a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale fully through pursed lips. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's add our arms, inhaling up. And exhaling down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. And let's lift it up. We're gonna take in an inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna lift the arms up, lift up those heels, and then press down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale to press down. One more. Now bring your chin in towards your chest, scoop in the abs. We're gonna roll down one vertebra at a time, heavy head, zombie arms, all the way down into a forward fold. Coming down just as far as is comfortable for you. Nod your head yes and no. Now bend your knees a little bit to help your hands get all the way down to the floor. And we're gonna lift up the heels and the toes, rocking back and forth. And evenly distribute your weight between your feet. Think of your anchor points being the big toe, pinky toe, and your heel. And from here, we're just gonna do some like parallel plies, bend the knees, and then reach that tailbone up towards the ceiling, pressing your heels into the floor. Bend the knees and press. Bend and press. Bend. And press. Scoop in those abs. Roll up one vertebra at a time with a heavy head, zombie arms. Standing tall, roll the shoulders back, forward, back, and down. We're going to lift our arms straight up. We're going to lower down that left elbow and sway out the right hip, other side. One more on each side. And we're gonna get into our Pilates B. Heels together, toes apart. And we're just gonna step out that foot. And we're gonna come down into a lateral lunge. Up, and just add the arm side bending. One more here. And bring it back to your Pilates B. Step it out, other side, lateral lunge. The side bend, adding those arms. One more here. And bring it in. We're gonna do a back lunge. So just step back that right foot. We're gonna lower the heel and lift. Bring those arms back, palms facing forward, fingertips reaching back. Just lower and lift that back heel. And try to get the heel down as far as you can without forcing. Two and one. Other side. Step back that left foot. Palms reaching forward or fingertips reaching back. Lowering and lifting that heel. Last one and step it forward. We're gonna do a roll down to a plank. If that roll down isn't for you, just come on down to your four point kneeling or quadruped with wrists directly underneath the shoulders and knees under the hips. Roll down plank, shoulders back and down. Inhale on your exhale, chin comes down towards your chest, rolling down one vertebra at a time. Hands come down onto the floor. Again, bending the knees if you need a little help to get there. Walk out to a long arm plank. Wrist directly underneath the shoulders. Make sure those abs are pulled in. Backside isn't higher than the shoulders. 
Take an inhale. On your exhale, bring that right foot forward. We're gonna to rotate towards that bent knee. Fingertips come up towards the ceiling and look up. If you're in a quadruped, just lift that right arm up and look up. Bring that arm down, step back. Left foot comes forward. Rotate towards that left knee. Left arm comes up, looking up at those fingertips. And then bring that hand down and step back. From our long arm plank, press into a downward dog and then flow back. Keep those abs pulled in. Think of those ears being in between the shoulders when you press back into your downward dog. Trying to lower those heels down as far as comfortable. Hold that down dog. We're just gonna do a running motion with those knees, swaying out the opposite hip. And then we're gonna come down into our quadruped position. Knees directly underneath the hips and the wrists directly underneath the shoulders. We're gonna do some scapular isolations here. Pull those abs in, think neutral spine. We're gonna inhale. On the exhale, I want you to think of pressing into the mat, protracting the scapula. Inhale. On the exhale, lower down, retract. Imagine you have a lemon in between your shoulder blades and you're trying to juice it. Protract. Neutral. Retract. Let's do one more of each. Protract. Neutral. And retract. Juicing that lemon and then come neutral. And really think of your scapula as being in this neutral position for the rest of class. Now from here, we're just gonna do some circles in our four point kneeling. Pressing down with our hands, heavy shins on the mat, just circling in one direction. And let's switch with the opposite direction. and then we'll come back center. We're gonna press back into a child's pose. Forehead comes down to the mat, reaching those arms forward. If this feels too aggressive for your arms, you can always bring them straight back for now. And just breathe here, inhaling, exhale. One more inhale and one more exhale. We'll come back into that quadruped and we're just gonna flow back and forth in child's pose into a modified plank. The shins stay down, reaching forward with the heart. Press back and plank. And we're gonna hold it here. This modified plank, slowly lower those elbows down. Wrists directly underneath the shoulders. Then press back up to our swan. Lower. Lift into swan. Squeeze the glutes. As you come up, really pull those abs in. And lower all the way down. We're going to take our left hand and put our forehead on. We're going to extend the right arm forward. Taking a deep breath. On the exhale, we're gonna lift up the left leg and the right arm. Think of pressing the pelvis down into the mat, squeezing the glutes. Let's do that again three more times. Forehead stays down. Last one here. And let's switch. Forehead on the right hand, left arm extends. Left arm, right leg. Keep thinking of pressing the pelvis down towards the mat, squeezing the glutes. Last one. Then bring both hands underneath those shoulders. Press back into child's pose. 
walking those hands forward. Walk the hands to the right as you drop the hips to the left. And then come back center, walking the hands to the left as you drop the hips to the right. Come back into that quadruped or four point kneeling, cross at the ankles, sit back, and we're gonna sit tall. We're gonna go into our seated pelvic tilts next. Knees are bent, feet flat. Shoulders back, down, relaxed. We're just gonna hold behind the thighs. Deep inhale on the exhale. Pull that navel in towards your spine. Get a deep C curve. And then sit back. Inhale. Exhale. Draw that navel in towards your spine. Deep C curve. And sit up tall. One more here. Inhale. Exhale. Navel to spine. And then one more here. And we're going to stay back here. And I want you to find balance in between your sit bones and sacrum. And we're going to lift up, either hold behind the thighs or your shins. We're just going to rock back and forth. Keeping the shoulders back and relaxed. Abs are pulled in. And then we're gonna bring those feet flat. We're gonna extend the legs and flex the feet. You might wanna skip forward just a little bit so you got room behind you. We're gonna bring those arms forward, wrists in line with the shoulders and back and down. Deep inhale on your exhale, draw your navel in towards your spine. And we're gonna roll back, about mid back, shoulders, and then roll back up one vertebra at a time, sitting up tall. And how on your exhale, draw that navel in. Really flex those feet, coming back just to like the tips of your shoulder blades. And then again, back up. And this next one, we're gonna roll all the way back. Inhale, exhale, draw that navel in towards your spine. And roll it back all the way, one vertebra at a time. And go ahead and skip forward if you ran out of mat behind you like I did. And let's go ahead and get those knees bent and feet flat. We're going to do some pelvic tilts. Have those arms by your side, fingertips reaching and your palms just gently pressing. Imagine you have a cup of tea on your pelvis. We're going to inhale. On the exhale, draw that navel in towards your spine. We're going to tilt the pelvis up. Think of pouring that tea towards the navel and tailbone lifts lightly off the mat. Inhale on your exhale. Bring it back neutral, balancing that teacup. Inhale on your exhale. We're gonna tilt the pelvis away, pouring the tea away from the navel. And then come back center. Inhale, exhale. Really scooping those abs, tilting the pelvis up, tailbone lift slightly, and neutral. Inhale, exhale, tilt the pelvis away and then neutral. One more in each direction. Inhale, exhale, draw that navel in. Balance that teacup, inhale, exhale, tilting away. Now we're gonna take an inhale. On the exhale, draw that navel in towards the spine. And we're gonna lift up the tailbone and think of peeling up slow and controlled one vertebra at a time. Here, think about reaching those heels towards your sit bones, sit bones towards your heels. Take an inhale. On the exhale, really draw that navel in towards the spine, slow motion. Think of laying down the vertebra one at a time on the mat. Three more, just like this. Inhale, exhale, navel comes in towards the spine. Healing up slow, controlled. Inhale, exhale. Down just as slowly as you came up. Inhale, exhale. Reaching those sit bones towards your 
your heels and your heels towards your sit bones. Inhale, exhale, bring down slowly. Inhale, exhale. Hold it up here. We're gonna march in place. Bring that right knee in and then the left. Watch your hips, make sure they stay even. Four, three, two, and one. Roll all the way down one vertebra at a time. Our next set, we're gonna hinge. So we're gonna lift straight up, squeeze the glutes, and then tap the tailbone down. Lift, squeeze, and then tap down. Option, don't tap the tailbone down all the way, but hover right above the mat each time. Four, three, two, one, hold it up. Halfway down, all the way lift, squeeze the glutes. Halfway down, all the way up, lift, squeeze. Four, three, two, hold it up. We're gonna come down an inch, lift an inch. Small movement, squeeze the glutes at the top. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up slowly and with control, come down one vertebra at a time. Great job. We're gonna get into a figure four next. Cross the left ankle above the right knee. Imagine a weight on your shin, pressing it down. And from here, we're gonna hinge straight up. Watch the hips, make sure they're even, and then tap the tailbone down. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up and slow control. Come down one vertebra at a time. Lift up that right foot, hug behind the right thigh, just as far as feels good to you. Let me go ahead and place that foot back down, uncross, and we'll do the other side. Right ankle above the left knee. Try to get that shit as flat as is comfortable for you. Don't force it. And we're gonna lift up into our bridge or hinge for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And on this last one, we're gonna hold it up and slow and control. Come down one vertebra at a time. And then we're gonna lift up that left foot, grab behind the left thigh, and give it a hug, just wherever it feels good. And then we'll go ahead and put that foot down and uncross. We're gonna take our hands and place them right underneath the backside and use for code to make a uh, triangle with your hands. Get those shoulders back and down, legs together. We're just gonna drop out our right knee to the right, just wherever it lands, we're not forcing it and then come back to the center, left. And then bring it in. Right, left leg doesn't move. Pull in those abs, relax your face, relax your neck. Left side. I'm gonna bring our arms out to a T and then drop the knees over to the left and look over your right shoulder. Come back center and drop the knees to the right, looking over the left shoulder. And then come back center. One more in each direction. Knees drop to the left, looking over the right. Center. Knees to the right, looking to the left and center. Bring those arms down by your side. We're gonna do some leg slides here. Shoulders are back and down, fingertips reaching forward, neutral spine. Inhale, on the exhale, just press or slide that leg out and then slide it back in. We're just gonna do the right side here. 
Really reach that leg away. And as you reach, think of the shoulder reaching, hip reaching. One more here. Extend it out, flex the foot, and bring that right arm overhead, reaching the fingertips back, heel reaches forward. And then slide it back, right arm comes by your side. Left slide and bring it back here. As you extend, reach it forward. Last one here, flex the foot, reach the heel forward, left arm comes back, fingertips reaching back, left heel reaching forward. Then slide that foot and left arm comes down by your side. You can bring those arms out to a T or you can keep them by your side, whatever makes you feel more stable here. We're just gonna drop those knees out, slide away and then pull it back in. Abs are pulled in and up. Keep time breath with movement. One more here. Then just drop those knees out and bring the bottoms of your feet together and let those knees just drop out wherever they will. We're gonna interlace our fingers and place it behind the head. We're gonna do a chest lift. Deep inhale on your exhale, lift. Think of pressing your head into your hands, not your hands into your head. Abs are pulled in and up and then come back down. Inhale, exhale, lift and lower. Inhale, exhale, hold it for a beat each time. Four more like this. Three, two, one. We're gonna take our right arm and extend it underneath the right thigh. We're gonna inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna lift and rotate, reaching that right hand under the right thigh. Come back center, full recovery each time. Inhale, exhale, reach and center. Inhale, exhale, reach. One more here, inhale, exhale, reach. Come all the way down. And we're gonna take that right hand, place it behind the head. Left arm extends, hand underneath the thigh. Inhale, exhale, lift, reach, lower. Three more, inhale, exhale, reach, lower. Two more, inhale, exhale, lift, reach. Last one, inhale, exhale, lift, reach and lower. We're gonna take both hands and place them behind the head again. We're gonna lift up our legs, bottoms of the feet are still together. And think of those knees being in line with the hips, ankles in line with the knees. We're gonna inhale. On the exhale, chest lift. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, hold it up. We're gonna extend those legs out. Don't lose the connection of your low back on the mat and then bend back in. Extend and bend. Keep thinking of pressing your head into your hands, not your hands into your head. Abs are pulled in and up. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, hug those knees in. Rock side to side, back and forth. Lower back massage. Grab behind the thighs. We're gonna roll up to sitting and we're gonna come back on our forearms. Elbows directly underneath the shoulders. And we're just gonna lift those knees up in a tabletop. Abs are pulled in and up. We're gonna do some can cans. Tap the left side of the mat and then the right. Left and right. Keep time breath with movement. 
Keep those abs pulled in and up. Make sure your head isn't dropping back. Now hold it here in the center. We're gonna lift those legs up, lower, and then bend the knees in. Lift and lower. Doesn't matter how wide you get here. Do what feels best for you. Keep the abs pulled in and up. Two and one. And we're gonna reverse directions for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those feet flat and come all the way down. Next, we're gonna get into our single leg, double leg series. But first we're gonna start with scissors. So we're gonna pull in that right knee, just give it a hug to start. Then you can pull it out to the side slightly, just for a stretch, making sure the left hip isn't picking up. And then we'll bring it back center and bring that right leg straight up. Chin comes in towards the chest. Make sure you have a fist width in between your chin and your chest. Keep thinking of reaching the chest towards the thighs. Left leg is hovering. And we're gonna pull and switch for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold in that left leg, bend the knee, give it a hug in. And then grab on with the left hand, bring it out to the left, make sure that right hip stays down. And then bring it back center. Both legs come into tabletop 90-90, knees in line with the hips, ankles in line with the knees. Chin comes in towards the chest. And we're gonna bring our right hand to our right ankle. Extend that left leg straight out and switch. Super slow motion. Imagine you're moving through peanut butter. Keep thinking of reaching the chest up towards your thighs. Let's do four. Three, two, and one. Bring those hands behind your head. We're gonna add a rotation for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give those knees a hug. Rock side to side, back and forth. Lower back massage. Double leg stretch. Knees in tabletop, chin comes in towards the chest, hands towards your shins. We're gonna inhale. On the exhale, simultaneously extend the legs and the arms, circle, and hug it back in. Keep those abs pulled in and up. Four, three, two, last one, and hug it in. Rock side to side, back and forth. Lower back massage. Bring those feet flat and hands behind your head. We're gonna extend those legs straight up. We're gonna get in our Pilates stance, the heels together, toes apart. And let's point those toes and then flex. Point, flex, point, flex, point, flex and point, really kiss those heels together. We're gonna to lower and lift our legs. Option, float up your head, neck and shoulders and hold it here. Inhale, lower the legs down, exhale to lift. Rest that head down if it starts to feel too aggressive. Abs are pulled in and up. Don't lose that connection of your low back on the mat. Let's do four, three, Two, one, hold it down at your lowest spot. Beat those heels together for three, two, one, and hug in those knees. Great job. We're gonna do some roll ups next. So we're gonna extend those legs straight out, zip those legs up. We're gonna just start with our arms by our sides, 
palms facing up. We're going to inhale. On your exhale, chin comes in towards the chest. Look at your toes. And reach up and grab the backs of your thighs. Take an inhale. On your exhale, reach up even higher. Hold it. Inhale. Exhale. Can you reach up another inch? Inhale. Exhale. Come all the way back down. Great job. Now we're going to bring our arms up overhead. Deep inhale. On your exhale, chin comes in towards the chest. Look at the toes, scooping those abs. Roll it up. Make sure those shoulders are back and down, relaxed. Scooping those abs. Curve forward. Inhale. On your exhale, draw that navel in towards your spine and roll it back one vertebra at a time. Super slow. Arms up overhead. This time I want you to think of that sticky spot that you want to use momentum through and go even slower there. Inhale, exhale, squeeze those legs together. Chin comes in towards the chest, scooping the abs, look at the toes. Slow through that sticky spot. Curve forward. Inhale, exhale, draw that navel in towards your spine. Roll it back. And again, slow through that sticky spot. One more here, inhale. Exhale, chin comes in towards the chest. Scooping those abs, roll it up so through that sticky spot. Inhale, exhale, and roll it all the way back. One vertebra at a time. Great job. We're gonna come into our quadruped, grab a hundred thighs, roll on up to sitting, and we'll get in our four point kneeling. Wrists directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. We're just gonna rock back and forth, side to side. Really press the shins in, just some circles here. And cat cow, scooping those abs, press the hands in, shins in towards the mat. You reach that heart forward, tailbone reaches up. Cat scooping those abs, press the hands down into the mat and the shins. Lift it up. And then get a flat back. We're going to take that right leg and bring it back. And we're going to get up on the toe. And from here, we're going to do some circles. Just lowering and lifting the heel. And let's do the opposite direction. And then hold it here. Point those toes, and we're gonna lift, squeeze the glute, and then tap down for eight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Halfway down, lift, squeeze the glute for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that knee down and bring back the left leg. Toes are curled under. And again, we're gonna do those circles, lifting and lowering the heel. And reverse. And then bring those toes flat, lift, squeeze the glute and tap. Make sure the pelvis Pointing right down towards the mat. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up halfway down, lift, squeeze. Halfway down, lift, squeeze. Three, two, and one. Great job. Bring those knees down. Quick child's pose, walking those hands forward, backside that goes way back. And then we're gonna flow back into our quadruped and we're gonna come down onto our forearms. We're gonna extend that right leg back. We're gonna do some clock taps. So clock or tap at seven and then five, seven, five. Three, two, 
and one. Bring that knee down, other side. Tap seven and five. Keep those abs pulled in. Last one here. Bring those knees in. And we're gonna get into a forearm plank. You can have those palms facing up or down or your hands clasped, whatever you prefer. And our feet are gonna be in our Pilates B, heels together, toes apart. And from here, we're just gonna saw. Lower and lift those heels. Four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees down, throw those hips back, walk those hands forward, child's pose. And back into our forearm plank. This time, feet hip width apart. And we're gonna rotate to a side plank, get into a goal post. Come back center, other direction, goal post. You can always bend a knee here if you need to. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Those knees down in that quadruped with a couple of cat cows. And then we're gonna side lie and do some plans. So we're gonna have our knees bent up in line with your navel. If they're stopped, and you can make a pillow at the crook of your elbow. Top hand, either just on your hip, just right in front of you. And we're just gonna lift and lower. Leg parallel to start. Abs pulled in and up. Four, three, two, one. Get those heels together. Toes on the mat, heel lifted. Lift that knee and lower for eight. Four, three, two, one. Bring that knee in towards the other, extend and tap. Do four, three, two, and one. Bring those heels back together, lift, and we're gonna circle, lead with the knee. Reverse, three, two, and one. Bring that knee down, feet flat. And we're gonna sit up, mermaid sit. Chin in line with the mat, bending that back leg. Arms extended, we're gonna inhale. And the exhale, shift two, three inches, and then bring that forearm down, arm comes up and over, stretch. Deep inhale on your exhale, rotate and reach. Take in a deep inhale. On your exhale, come back into that side bend, bending up tall. Place that hand right down next to you. Arm comes up and over and stretch. Other side. Hips stacked, making a pillow with the crook of your elbow. When you look down, knees should look like they're in line with your navel. And that top hand, you just rest it on the mat. And we're just gonna lift and lower in parallel. Two and one. Come up on the toes, heels together, toes apart, and lift and lower in that plan. Keep those hips stacked. Two and one. Knees come together, extend for eight. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those heels back together, lift and circle, leading with that knee. Reverse, four, three, two, and one. Rest down, bend that chin in line with the mat, and we'll come up in our mermaid stretch, bending that back leg, arms extended. Make sure you're nice and tall, imaginary string pulling you up to the top of your head. Shift two, three inches over, bring that forearm down, arm comes up, side bend. Inhale on your exhale, rotate towards your mat and reach. Come back into that side bend and back to the center. And then place that hand straight down by your side, arm comes up and over, stretch. And back center. All right, let's finish up with some stretches. Lay all the way back, extend those legs. Hug in that right knee towards your chest. Rotate that ankle in and out. In and out. Extend that leg straight up. Pull back either behind your thigh or your calf, whatever feels best to you. Bend that knee, grab it with your left hand. Right arm comes out to a T. Knee comes down towards the left, look over the right shoulder. Just take a moment to breathe into that stretch. And we'll come back center. Extend that right leg out. Hug in the left knee. Rotate that ankle in, out. Send that leg straight up, pull back either behind the calf or the thigh, whatever feels best to you. Bend that knee, hold on with the right hand, cross it over the right side. Left arm comes out in that T and look over the shoulder. Back center. Bring both knees in, arms come out to a T, drop both knees over to the left as you look over the right. And back center. Over to the right, look over to the left. And come back center. Cross the right knee over the left and just gently pull on the ankles. Uncross, left knee over right, and pull back. Uncross, hands behind the thighs. We're gonna roll up to sitting, and we're gonna to come to standing. And you can do that in any way that works best for you. I'm gonna put my hands on the mat and just lift my tailbone right up towards the ceiling into a forward fold. Scoop in my abs. I'm going to roll up one vertebra at a time, rolling my shoulders back and down. Feet hip width apart, just like we started. Inhale the arms up, reach those fingertips up towards the ceiling. We're going to reach our heart up as we bend our elbows down into a cactus pose, reaching that heart up towards the ceiling, just a baby back bend. Deep inhale, exhale, circle. Stand up tall, let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, reach for those abs up with you. Palms come forward, bending those elbows, reach the heart up, shoulder blades come down into the back pockets. Circle, last one. Inhale, exhale, reach, palms forward, reaching that heart up, circle. Thank you all so much for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions.